my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jesse, and you're watching. I am so, so proud to announce that Blackathon is coming back for round three. Round four, if you count queer Blackathon that happened in June. I started Blackathon on my YouTube channel in 2018 because I was frustrated with the lack of inclusivity of black books in people's reading selection on booktube. It was really, really bothering me. It was making me feel very othered and isolated. And I was really sad about that. Also, at that time, I was noticing so many books by black authors coming out and I wanted to shout out about them. I wanted to celebrate them and I wanted people to join me in uplifting the books that black folks were coming out with, as well as uplifting the books that black people have come out with in previous years. I wanted to see more centering of black literature and black canon on booktube. And that's why Blackathon was created three years ago. I'm not going to say that all of us as readers don't still have work to do in our reading selections, but I have personally noticed that people have been so much better at picking up black books and I freaking love to see it. For the third annual Black I wanted to do something extremely special. 2020 was a year of pain and tumult, but it was also a year where so many people opened their eyes and hearts to the struggles of the Black liberation movement. I feel that more people have joined the Black liberation movement last year than ever before, at least in recent history, and I was so extremely proud of all of the work that I saw people doing, whether it was self-work, social justice work, talking to their family members, organizing, etc. I was so proud. It was really beautiful to see. But for Black people especially, last year was incredibly painful. And we are still wearing those scars. We are still healing, especially because the work is far from over. And Black lives, Black businesses, Black health and wellness overall is still not being prioritized the way that it needs to be. That is changing, yes, but we also have to be unapologetic about acknowledging the work that still needs to be done. And that does not just include Black lives in America, that includes Black lives internationally. It includes Black transgender lives. It includes Black disabled lives. It includes all Black lives. Because last year was so particularly painful, I wanted to make sure that Blackathon this year was more inclusive, more far-reaching, more creative, and more exciting than it ever has been before. I'm not going to lie, I am so proud of the work that I had done with Blackathon in the past. But I knew I could still step up my game for this year. So there have been some huge changes to Blackathon. I am so excited. There's going to be multiple ways to participate, whether it is on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. There's going to be giveaways. There's going to be Instagram hosts. There's going to be movie watch-alongs. There's going to be a contest. There, it's just, it's, it's a lot. So stay tuned for all of the details here on Blackathon 2021. Let's just jump right into it. The very first change that I made to Blackathon this year is I decided Blackathon was going to have a theme. It has never had a theme before in the past. So all of the prompts are tailored to this theme, this particular theme. And I thought really long and hard about what I wanted this theme to be. And ultimately I did a poll over on my Instagram and the Instagram poll went with the choice that I wanted to make anyway, which was great. I'm happy to announce that the theme for Blackathon 2021 is travelers. All of the prompts and the readathon overall is going to be themed with the idea of making a journey or traveling to another place, whether that is a spiritual place, whether it is a physical place, whether it is an emotional place. Black joy is a part of Black liberation. So often Black folks are discouraged from traveling. We are discouraged from exploring who we are and having our own self journeys and from seeing the world and going on fantastical adventures, going on adventures at all. And I thought it would be really beautiful and special to tailor Blackathon around the idea of traveling, especially due to the coronavirus, due to the pandemic. So many of us were stationary last year, and unable to see our loved ones and to touch and feel them, to go the places that we had planned, to do the things that we wanted to do. So even for my non-Black participants, I thought that travelers would be a really great theme because I think we're all thirsty 
for a little bit of travel. Another big change to Blackathon this year is that it is going to have three teams. Last year, I made two teams. They were science fiction and fantasy was team one, and team two was nonfiction slash literature slash contemporary. And we had a blast, but this year I was like, nope, I'm gonna add an additional team. So in addition to team SFF, in addition to team literature, contemporary nonfiction, I am introducing team thriller, team horror. Which? I'm gonna be hosting. I'm proud to announce that I'm going to be hosting Team Thriller slash Horror here on YouTube. The reason that I added Team Thriller Horror in particular is because there is this widespread belief that Black people aren't writing thrillers, that we aren't a part of horror, that these books are impossible to find, that people don't know where the books are, and that idea further marginalizes authors that are in the field already and writing these amazing incredible narratives, and it also discourages further Black authors from joining into the field. So team thriller slash horror is now a part of Blackathon. Now the same as last year, there are multiple ways to participate. You can participate on Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. I made it this way so that the readathon is inclusive and accessible. I don't know why I said accessible that way. That was weird. Accessible to various communities of readers. So it's important to me to make sure that people are able to participate in their capacities on the platform that they feel safest and the most comfortable participating on. Also, just like last year, I will be shouting out Black businesses and Black creators as well as Black readers every day on my Instagram, which is Bowties and Books. And if you are any of those things and want to coordinate a shout out, make sure that you send me a DM or an email. Emails are probably better because my DMs are a hot mess and I will do my best to make sure that I feature you on my Instagram. I already have a lot of people lined up for shout outs and I'm really excited about that. I will do my best to feature everybody who wants to be featured. So we're gonna talk about the details on YouTube before moving into Instagram participation and Twitter participation. So so Blackathon is going to have a live show. We've never done a live show before in the past. The live show is going to be March 1st at 8 p.m. CST. So mark your calendars. Also make sure you are following the Twitter, the Blackathon Twitter, because that is where any changes or updates are going to go, as well as reading sprints, of course, and just tons of fun stuff. And there might even be a Blackathon Twitter giveaway who knows? Not me. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the Insta the ways to participate on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm going to end this video by discussing how to participate on YouTube. I'm so freaking excited. Like, I'm so excited, and I really, really hope y'all like these changes because there's a lot of them. Just like last year, there is going to be movie watch-alongs hosted on Instagram and on Twitter. All of the movie watch-alongs will take place at 6 p.m. CST, and the first one is February 6th, where we are going to watch Spiral, which is a black queer horror film. February 13th at 6 p.m. CST, we are going to be watching Photograph, which is a contemporary film. February 20th, we are going to be watching Miss Juneteenth, Juneteenth, wow, I can talk, which is a contemporary kind of familial feel-good film. And finally, on February 26th, we are going to be watching Pumsy, which is a sci-fi film, and I'm very excited about that. So I am going to be doing a movie commentary on all of those movies on my Instagram. And those of you who don't have Instagram but still wanna participate on the movie watch-alongs, you can still participate in the watch-along on Twitter by tweeting your thoughts to the Blackathon Twitter as we watch along. Now, just like last year, there's going to be Twitter and Instagram blackout dates. On blackout dates, Black folks will post a selfie using the hashtag Blackathon2021. Yes, light-skinned Black people count. Yes, mixed-race Black people count. If you identify as Black, you are Black. And in order to participate, all you have to do is post your selfie February 7th, February 14th, February 21st, February 28th. I, of course, am going to be participating in this. I will probably post selfies both on Twitter and on Instagram. The blackout is kind of an ode, kind of a nod to OG Tumblr. I'm 100% certain that that's where the idea for blackouts began, where a bunch of black Tumblr creators were like, nah, this space is white AF and we're gonna take over it. So they organized a date where Tumblr was literally just pictures, selfies of black people, black bloggers and it was great. Now we're going to talk about the Instagram challenge. So there's going to be a week of Instagram challenges where you upload daily, you upload a photo every day of that week. The Instagram challenge will take place from February 13th to February 19th. Day one is mirror image, a cover recreation or an homage. This is a prompt that I'm bringing back from the Instagram challenge on 
from last year. I absolutely loved seeing y'all's cover recreations and homages to black covers. I'm so excited for this year. Day two is a Muslim narrative. Day three is Black Joy, a lighthearted, feel-good comfort read. On day four, we're going to be featuring a Caribbean narrative. On day five, Black classic that is not a European or an American setting. On day six, you will post a Black trans narrative, either trans binary, trans non-binary, or both. And finally, on day seven, you are going to post about a disabled character on a journey. For all of these posts, use the hashtag Blackathon2021 so that I can see them and share them on my platform and boost them, just like I did last year. Special note that the books that you share during the this Instagram challenge should, whenever possible, have a theme of travel this year, each of our three teams has an Instagram host. Now, the hosts for the Instagram teams are going to be different from the hosts for the YouTube teams. I did that specifically so that we could give exposure to multiple Black bookish creators. I am very proud to announce that hosting Team Science Fiction and Fantasy is none other than my beloved, my book twin, my heart and soul, Starla of Starla Reads, who has an amazing Instagram. Okay, Starla's Instagram is fantastic, as is her YouTube channel. And the host for Team Contemporary slash Lit slash Nonfiction is none other than fantastic Caribbean bookstagrammer known as Book of Sins. And for Team Thriller slash Horror, we have two hosts, none other than Chanel of Chanel Time, who we all know and love, and Nina from The Wandering Reader, who is just a wonderful horror bookstagrammer that all of y'all should be following. Anybody who likes the creepy and the spooky books needs to be following Nina's platform. So those are going to be our three, okay, those are going to be our four hosts for our three teams on Instagram. Make sure that you follow them on their Instagrams. It's going to be a Netflix watch party for team thriller slash horror where myself, Nina from Wandering Reader and Chanel of Chanel Time are all going to go onto Netflix watch party in a group with y'all and we are going to watch the thriller Hold the Dark. This will be taking place February 19th at 6.30 CST. Chanel had the brilliant idea of doing a Netflix watch party so that international readers can participate. So thank you, Chanel, for that amazing idea. Now we're going to talk about the actual prompts, the reading prompts for Blackathon, as well as the Blackathon vlogging challenge that is going to be hosted on YouTube and the Blackathon contest. The challenge is for team science fiction and fantasy, for which I am bringing back the original co-host of Blackathon, Lauren from the novel Lush. When I conceptualized Blackathon, I invited Lauren from the novel Lush and Francina from Francina Simone to co-host the readathon with me. This was back in 2018 and the experience that I had forming a friendship with them and hosting this readathon that changed so much about my life is always going to be a deeply cherished memory. So I'm really, really grateful to Lauren for coming back to host Team Science Fiction and Fantasy. Now, just like last year, all of the prompts are named after a Black author that embodies that prompt or who has written for that prompt. So if you're struggling to kind of find a book that fits the prompt, you can kind of use the author name as a key. You can go, oh, well, this prompt is named after Rita Woods. So I know that Rita Woods has written a book that satisfies this prompt. But the real reason that I named these prompts after Black authors is to honor the Black authors who make these books possible in the first place. So without further ado, the prompts for team science fiction fantasy are as follows. Prompt number one is Rita Woods, a book in which a character traverses the spirit realm or heavily embodies black spiritualism or black spirituality. Prompt number two is named after Tade Thompson, a black protagonist encounters an alien civilization or alien technology. Prompt number three is named after Octavia Butler, a book where time travel is a major component to the story. And finally, there's the group book for team science fiction and fantasy which is none other than the lesson which i haven't read but it looks absolutely amazing and underhyped for five years the people of the u.s virgin islands have lived with the ina a race of super advanced aliens on a research mission they will not fully disclose they are benevolent in many ways but meet any act of aggression with disproportional wrath same. Caveat, at least one of these books has to have a non-US or non-UK setting, but you can totally double, triple up on the challenges just like you did in the previous years. Now for team contemporary literature nonfiction, which is 
hosted by the wonderful Ashley of Bookish Realm. My heart, my soul, I cannot believe that she said yes. I am so honored and grateful to have her as the YouTube host for this team. Prompt number one is Macy Card, a book that takes place over one character's entire lifespan or an intergenerational narrative. Prompt number two is called Patsy, a book in which two queer characters go on a journey together. Bonus points if it is a tangible journey, such as a road trip. Prompt number three is called Neri Akorafor, a book in which a disabled character embarks on a journey or a book by a disabled black author. And number four is the group book, which is The Secret Lives of Baba Seji's Wives. This book is set in modern day Nigeria and features the struggles, secrets, and intricate family politics of one Nigerian family, a polygamous family in which there are four wives. Again, same caveat, at least one of these books must have a non-US or U UK setting. So that means if you read the group book, you will have satisfied this prompt. Now I am going to be hosting team thriller slash horror and the prompts are as follows. Prompt number one is named after Megan Giddings, a book where a black character moves to a new town with an old secret. Prompt number two is named after Victor Laval, a supernatural or paranormal horror. Prompt number three is named after Rachel Housel, a book that takes place on vacation, sabbatical, or in a decadent setting. And finally, number four is the group book. And the group book is none other than Wife of the Gods. And it sounds so freaking phenomenal. I cannot wait to read it with y'all. When we first meet Detective Dawson, he's been ordered by his cantankerous boss to leave behind his loving wife and young son in Ghana's capital city to lead a murder investigation in a shady grove outside the small town of Kitanu, where a young woman, a promising medical student, has been found dead under suspicious circumstances. I am so excited. Now to talk about the seven day vlogging challenge, which is going to take place from February 13th to February 19th. So the same time as the Instagram challenges. I decided to add a seven day video challenge for those of you who can't do a month long readathon or who simply don't want to and would prefer to just do a week of participation. That's cool too. So you can upload daily. I'm going to be uploading a daily vlogs for that week, but you can also just put all of your days into one vlog and upload that at the end of the week. That's cool too. So the challenges are as follows. On day one, post about a 2020 anticipated release or day two of your vlog, do a fan cast, a black book that needs an adaptation ASAP. For day number three, make an Afrocentric treat or meal or order food from a black business. And don't forget about non-US black cuisine. Day four, take the black history quiz that I have come up with and take the black author slash literature quiz and then talk about your results. On day five, wear a culturally appropriate outfit that is inspired by one of your favorite black characters. On day six, you are going to draw or paint an iconic black bookish character and then in the comment section down below, see if people can guess who it is. And finally on day seven, Get cozy, turn the lights down low, and pick a spooky story from the Nightlight podcast to listen to and get creeped out with. The Nightlight podcast is a Black-led podcast where Black authors go on and share their creepy and spooky stories. There's three seasons of Nightlight podcast available. Or for those of you who are deaf, hard of hearing, um, for those of you who don't like scary stuff, or for those of you who cannot access the podcast, instead of that, you can share some visual artwork from a Black artist that you really admire. This includes animation or just sharing some gorgeous book covers. I am so excited about the daily challenges. Like, I literally cannot wait. The biggest change, which I am so excited about, so excited to announce that this year we are going to be having an emerging author contest. So for each team, authors can submit a short story anywhere from one paragraph to up to two pages max. The story has to, of course, embody the theme of journey slash travel, and each host will review the submissions for their team and announce a winner on their channel at the end of Blackathon, as well as read and share that story with their audience. First place prize is $75 or a pack of TBR cards and $50 cash, and the second place prize is $25 or a pack of TBR cards. I am literally so excited to be funding this contest. I, I cannot wait to see what y'all come up with. Also, it is important to note that you can submit a story for each team. So you can submit a story for Team Sci-Fi, Team Thriller, 
and for uh, the literature contemporary nonfiction team. However, you can only win in one category. So you can't win in all three categories. All of the stories will be featured in a Google Doc for the community to enjoy, regardless if you end up placing or not. And alongside your story, we will boost your social media info as well as your Venmo or your PayPal so that those who are reading and enjoying the story can support you for your hard work and your labor. Submit your literature, nonfiction, or contemporary story to ashley at bookishrealm at gmail.com. Submit your science fiction fantasy stories to Lauren's email at at novellush at gmail.com and submit your thriller slash horror story to me, Jesse at Jesse's Bowties and Books at gmail.com. If you know that you don't want your story to be featured in that Google Doc, like regardless if you win or not, make sure you tell me in the email because otherwise I'm going to assume that you are comfortable being boosted and having your story in that doc. Just like last year, I'm going to be doing recommendations videos and then in the description box below, all of this information is is right there for you. There's a Google Doc with it as well. I can already feel people saying that there are no black thrillers and black horror books. So I've also included lists of those down below too, as well as the original Google Doc that Lauren and Francina and I came up with back in 2018, which features just tons and tons of black literature across all genres. Okay, this was a lot. Let me know in the comment section down below what team you want to join. And tell me it's team thriller because that's obviously gonna be the best team, you know what I'm saying? Let me know where you're going to be participating. Let me know what you're excited about. Let me know if you have any questions. I am so excited for Blackathon this year. Like I literally cannot wait. Make sure that you stay tuned on the Blackathon Twitter in case there are any major changes. Especially I'm excited about the emerging author contest. I really wanted to make sure that we did something for emerging black authors and black storytellers because Blackathon is not possible without black storytellers. So I am really, really excited about this. And please do not think that you need to have been published or have gone to multiple creative writing classes in order to submit a story. If you call yourself a writer, you're a writer and your work is valid regardless. So regardless if you've been published, feel free to submit your story anyway. It's gonna be amazing. And I'm really excited to read it. That's gonna do it for this video. This was a lot. Wow. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below with the word travel. Or put like a suitcase emoji down in the comment section down below. I literally cannot wait for Blackathon this year. It's gonna be amazing and I'm very excited. There may or may not be more surprises that I haven't talked about in this video. Who knows? Not me. If you'd like to see more content from me, subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on my Instagram, Bowties in Books. All my social media links will be in the description box below. Stay safe. Wear a mask and I hope to see you in my next video.